All right. Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jack and I are going to do one cast today. It is Thursday, the 28th of March. They're running, running less than one unit. It's about five o'clock in the evening. Uh, you saw where I'm at, kind of below Fall Creek on the shallow side. And I've got two pound line and a 132nd ounce black and olive jig. I was gonna go on up, but I actually saw some gulls diving on fish that were kind of surfacing, but I'm not sure what it was. Pretty stiff wind here, which I don't like, but we're gonna try it. I'm set up pretty shallow where I'm sitting. Fishing pretty shallow water, probably three foot, maybe four foot. I haven't done one cast in almost two weeks, which is pretty crazy. nothing on the first cast. And I have not fished Lake Taney Como in almost two weeks. I hadn't fished at all. Uh, I have been fishing a little bit down the pot hole, pot hole, and that is down below Parasite. And in Swan Creek, going down there, just throwing a few times in the evening, see if there's any white bass moving around. I've been working down in, over in Foresight trying to get a storefront ready for our food pantry. A little satellite location that we rented. That's why I haven't been around very much to do one cast. I had to ask Blake before I came out what jigs they were biting or, and he said black, which is what they were hitting when I, last time I fished. Ooh, I got it. He nailed it, just, just drifting it. Yeah, the fish just surfaced out there. It's about where those gulls were. Yep, there's a school of something out there. Probably stalkers. Let's see if I can catch one of them before I get by them. Talk to a gentleman coming up here.
stop me. Fish is here quite a bit. I see him on the water. Introduced himself. And he said that he's noticed here in the last couple weeks, especially, you know, weekends, that people have been kind of crazy with boat traffic. Like dangerous crazy. Going fast. Between boats and close to boats. Not slowing down. You know, we we do try to educate people on what the rules are. What the law is. It's really just common courtesy. Um, as a general rule, I try to be at least a hundred feet from a boat if I'm on plane. You're supposed to be a hundred feet from a dock no wake but because of tanny como in the way it's it's a river instead of a lake i think people think that it doesn't apply <clears throat> i've had I've had people say to me, even locals, that they choose to go by people on plane fast because it, yet they're not throwing awake, which is true. But it doesn't make it legal, it doesn't make it right. Boats don't have brakes. You can get in some pretty serious trouble pretty quick. You don't have brakes. I have moved out in deeper water. Sun's pretty bright. It's late in the day, but it's still pretty bright. It's gonna get Ryan and Wesley and try to go down to go over to Foresight and fish Swan Creek and that upper bull shoals this evening. Otherwise, I would have waited till later in the evening when the sun really started to drop to fish.
We had some guys here from Oklahoma a few days ago. And they went out Tuesday. And I don't think they've thrown jerk baits a lot, but I told them if they, if they wanted to catch a little bigger fish, possibly catch a brown, to go in and buy some Rapalos. And, um, and go out and just throw at the banks. And they did, and they caught fish. They caught some nice rainbows, they caught some nice browns. Nothing over 20. They, they, they were impressed. One more cast. I'm gonna really let this one drop. Really just trying to hop this off the bottom. That is not working. I'm gonna try one more thing, just for the fun of it. I'm just gonna dress this. If I see it hit the bottom, then I'll pick it up a little bit. Well, I think I've picked up some stuff. Maybe not. No, clean. That's cool. Well, I gotta go, go, go get ready to go to Bull Shoals. So, thanks for watching. Um, Easter weekend coming up, so it's gonna be busy on the lake. I've got, we've got family coming in. Probably take the grandkids fishing, so maybe we can get them on camera. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.